as well, you've probably heard about them. I've been doing a lot of reading over the past year or so about hydrogen generators and how we can save um, our gas mileage by hooking up a hydrogen generator to our engine. So today we're going to try it and we're going to either debunk or bunk the method that truth behind this and see if this actually works. I'll show you what we got. This is the most shitty one. It's a 64. Uh, it's about 48,000 on the odometer right now, but I'm sure it's been over a few times. Anyway, it uh, looks pretty nice as long as you stay about five feet back and uh, keep your eyes closed. It's not, otherwise, you can see it's been painted with a good mop. But uh, actually, no, it's not. Well, it runs great mechanically. This thing is so. so Right here in the back, there's a perfect spot right over here in the corner. And I think this is where we're going to install our generator, right in here. Here through this nipple that I put on top of the air cleaner. All right, let's, uh, let's get into the workshop and see how it looks. My project last year was to uh, convert my greenhouse into uh, to a battleship. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is the place. And, uh, come on in and let's see how this will work. The mess the uh, hasn't shown up this, uh, this decade. <laughs> but anyway, let's, uh, let's take a look at the machine here. Well, this is pretty much it. It's just the generator itself, which is eight stainless steel plates. And they're put together with nylon washers to separate them. And of course, you've got your positive and your negative. Okay. And the bottle in which they go into. And this is the bubbler to catch the gas on the other side. So what we're going to do is we're just going to fill this with about enough water to cover the plates. And it's just about an inch and a half below the neck there. And then we're going to put the rest in this bottle here, which is the bubbler. This is going to be the recovery part of it. And this will actually capture our hydrogen gas right here.